How's it going everybody? This is Bang Bang Bo and I'm back with another video. Uh, for this one, I have the North American Arms uh, 22 short. Um, I got this revolver. Um, I tend to like things that are more unique um, and fulfill a certain purpose. Now a lot of people joke about, you know, rather having a sharp stick than something like this. Um, I'll show you real quick, it's unloaded. Okay, nothing in there. Um, but, you know, I've watched, I'll, I'll try to find the video. Um, I've, I've watched a couple different people do some tests with 22 short. And uh, I was concerned myself about, um, you know, how effective it would be against a person because it really is very tiny. Here's a quarter for size comparison, okay. Um, and it, it, it seems like it would, it would do the job. I, I think that it would at least break a bone if it hit the bone, if it hit like an, uh, you know, major organ or an artery, something like that, you know, it would definitely kill you. I don't know that it would drop you right away, but, uh, I'm confident that even though this looks small and puny, you still would not want to be hit with this. And, um... Yeah, so the reason why I got this is because it's it's so small. And I was actually thinking about getting uh, the life card instead, because you know it's a 22 long rifle. It's a more capable round than the 22 short, um, but it's single shot and it takes so long to reload that I was like, okay, well, I'd rather have, you know, five shots of 22 short then one shot every 10 seconds, you know, especially if I'm fumbling around under pressure, uh, one shot every 10 seconds with a life card, you know, um, or, or even really a two shot 22 long rifle Derringer. Um, I still think that this is a better option over those two personally, but you know, you guys can make that determination, blah, 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 blah. Now, something I will uh, show you, uh, size comparison with, uh, with bullets as well as um, a common firearm. Uh, I recently got snap caps for Christmas, so I'm just gonna use one of these to minimize the amount of live ammunition here. Um, so this is a nine millimeter, this red thing, again, it's, it's a fake bullet uh, compared to the 22 short. Okay. So it's, you know, it's a tiny projectile, but really, when you think about, when you think about it, it's, it's almost like this uh, is a much larger version of the 22 short. It kind of looks like it's similar, you know, just shrunken down. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm confident that it would, would kill someone if, if you had to do it, you know, even just one shot. Um, but I'm not going to test that ever, hopefully. So that's that. Now... Uh, size comparison, uh, I think the biggest wow is this Glock 19. This is unloaded, okay? No magazine in the chamber. I've done videos on it. Check it out if you want. This is a Gen 4 gray frame. It was like Ellipses exclusive. But anyway, this really puts it into perspective, guys. This is a Glock 19. This is the 22 short. It's insane. And... In my opinion, having something this concealable, while it is it is a definitely a mouse gun, people use that term a lot, but this is truly a mouse gun, but this thing absolutely disappears in your pocket. You you basically really forget it's there. You can hide this in in basically any place. Um, and it's very simple and durable. It's just a single action only. Uh, the way it works, you pull the hammer back. Okay, and then you just pull the trigger. I'm not gonna dry fire on this gun. It just slams down and goes off. What I like to do with a lot of my firearms is I use a, a bright orange nail polish. I actually had it on here, but it rubbed off. Um, just with, you know, pocket carry and, and all that. You can kind of see a, a bit of it at the tip over there. Sorry, it's blurry. Um, 
So this is the gun. I'll do a quick, again, it's unloaded. Otherwise I wouldn't be pointing it at me, my camera. Okay. You can get different grips. There's uh, even some custom grips on like Etsy and, and other little uh, like eBay, stuff like that. You can get like pearl ones and all that. Um, now to take it apart, um, actually, let me, let me go through the rest of the functionality. So a really cool feature about this is now I know half cock, uh, people do that. And to be honest, I'm not 100% on, the, on with the reasoning, um, but it makes the trigger like lock. So you can't pull the trigger anymore, but really the, the best form of safety that this gun has is so right now it's honest open chamber. Okay, so if it was on a bullet and you have it here, and in theory, if you hit this hard enough, it can still hit the bullet and go off. So what you actually do is, as a safety, there's those little notches right there that's in between the two cylinders. And you can just, you know, carefully pull the trigger and let the hammer fall completely. And now the hammer is resting on in between the chambers, in between the cylinder chambers. Um, now, of course, you know, if you hit something really hard on, on the rim fire here that's exposed, it can go off. But that's re that's really like any revolver, I, I guess. Um, but yeah, so in, in that sense, it's a very cool safety feature. And even cooler is when you pull the hammer back, it kind of, it does like this weird thing. It kind of rolls back on itself. And then it's ready to go. So... You can keep it in that really safe position. And then when you need it, it's it's just, you know, it's ready to go. So to disassemble it, you um, you, you pull this out. You, there's a detent kind of thing in there. I'll just show you, but you push this down. Pull it out, straight out. You can see the detent in there. Okay. And then you pull the hammer back to half cock. You don't even have to pull it back to half cock, actually, but, um, you know, just that's it, really. Uh, simple disassembly. Now, when you sh actually shoot it, you uh, use the, or you can use this as the ejection thing, because it doesn't have an ejector built into it. They make a sidewinder that does, still single action only, but that's really cool. I, I definitely want a sidewinder. Um, and then uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to load it here on video just because I don't want to promote bad habits or, you know, unsafe handling. Even having the ammo here on the table is unsafe for some people, but I'm not going to do anything with it. So that's what it looks like. It sits flush. Okay. Cool. You get the point. Now you can have, uh, there's a couple different ammo options. Uh, ammo is kind of expensive. For what you're getting especially but um i would just get like the hyper velocity ones i've shot the just so then it has what you know what as little as a bullet is and admittedly it's a weak cartridge but especially by literally almost anything else <laughs> um except i suppose a two millimeter pin fire um it uh you know having that extra little kick probably makes a difference I don't think that I would use hollow points or like, like, you know, just something with FMJ. So then it cuts through as, as far as possible. I, I think I would think and hoping it hits like an organ or something, <laughs> um, you know, God forbid you had to do that, but that's, that's really it. Um, it's a really cool gun. It takes, or it costed me around, uh, like 254. $254, like with the background check fee, taxes, um, all, all, you know, all that stuff together, it was about $254, I, I think. Um, but uh, you can get them for like $225 to, to $250 before any other fees. Like that's kind of the range you'll find these for sale at. Um, you can get a all gold plated one. I did speak to them. They don't recommend shooting it. The gold plating can come off. But you do have the option of getting a, a nice, and it has pearl grips, uh, gold-plated uh, 22 short. Um, I don't imagine the kick on this gun being very much at all. I've, I've seen other videos where the 
you know, they, they shoot it and the kick looks kind of, kind of pleasant in, in all honesty, especially I, I shot, uh, the 22 Magnum version, which is about that big, like, like maybe two inches more in size. I think the grip is a little bit bigger too on the Magnum. Some people, you know, will argue that, you know, you should just have the 22 Magnum if you're going to get this. But in my opinion, like I said, it's so small that you can put this literally anywhere and it's going to fit somewhere a couple extra places that the 22 Magnum or 22 long rifle version wouldn't. Um, the 22 long rifle version, of course, you can uh, shoot 22 long rifle and 22 short. But at that point, I, I don't think it would make sense unless you're just like scavenging for ammo. On the, the Magnum versions also, you can get a 22 long rifle cylinder, which again can take 22 short. Um, but 22 long rifle cannot be fired out of a 22 Magnum. Um, like you probably can do it, but it's it's dangerous, you know, because it's, it's not the same round. Um, so yeah, definitely don't try to do that. But that's about it. Um, I guess I'll just spin it around. I appreciate anyone who's made it this far in the video. Uh, please do consider subscribing, uh, liking the video, drop a comment down below. And um, I just ask that you guys, you know, be a, a positive um, person that, that promotes firearms in a friendly way that's open to people that may be, you know, against them totally or, you know, just don't exactly have the same views. You want to be kind and uh, and and informative um and if, if you ever get the opportunity to take someone out to shoot you don't want to be a douchebag and give them like a, a huge gun where they're going to shoot it and have a really bad time get a bad taste in their mouth for you know for guns and then go on hating firearms for the rest of their lives it's not something that helps so please uh, do take those kinds of things into consideration as funny as it might be uh, you, you definitely want to make sure people have a good experience with them. Don't be a dickhead. Uh, it does make a difference. Um, and thank you again for watching. This is Bang Bang Bo. Post more videos soon. Have fun. Be safe. Happy shooting.